Amen. Amen. God bless you, Brother D. We, we are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful for the Lord and we are grateful for all that He has done. There is so much we need to thank the Lord for because our God is awesome. Our God is powerful. Our God is great. Our God is worthy of all our praises. And I feel just blessed to know who Jesus is. You know, when we realize and know who Jesus is, we should just get excited. You know, excited because we are so connected. When we are connected to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Mute, hallelujah. When we are connected to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, hallelujah, we are truly blessed. So, you know, we are here today to give glory to God. You know, um, a word came on my heart. It says, Rejoice in the Lord. And that is taken from Psalms 33. Psalms 33. Psalms 33. Amen. This word just came on my heart. It says, Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Amen. God bless you, my dear sister Clark. Bless you, brother. Rejoice in the Lord, for praise is comely. For the upright. Hallelujah. You know that God wants us to rejoice in Him. That's what the Word of God says. We should be joyful in the God of our salvation. We should be, you know, we should, our hearts should be filled with praises because of what the Lord has done for us. Rejoice in the Lord, O He righteous. If you are righteous, you should, we should rejoice. For praise is comely for the upright. And that the Lord just put those words on my heart uh, tonight. That we as children of God need to have a... It doesn't matter what is going on around us. We know our God is awesome. We know our God is powerful. We know our God speak and it is done. We know our Lord command and it stays and it stays still. We know our God is the one who created heaven and earth. We know our God is the one who to stay to the sea to the sea thus far and no further. And that's why the sea this this water cannot pass the shore because God gave command to the sea thus far no further. Two thirds of the world is covered by water. But God command the water to stay there and this God that we serve and this God that we found and discover how great and how loving how merciful he is we should be really rejoicing in our God no child of God I, I'm not saying that we don't have problems we do have problems in life you know we can't escape problems in life life is full of problems everyone has problems but underneath that problem, beneath that problem, there is a God that we know that can deliver us from any circumstances. So we should be so happy and so glad. We're not like the world. The world is walking in darkness. But God, the light of God has shined, shined in, our, in our hearts one day. And we get to realize the God that we serve and I'm just grateful for you the children of God the people of God who love God and it's just awesome that we can come together in one accord one mind one determination that we're gonna serve God we're gonna worship God no matter what you know we're gonna be standing up for Jesus because he stood up for us he stood up in our, st in our stead you know we're coming close to the time when Jesus was crucified and you know we, we remember commemorating his, curse, his crucifixion Jesus came to this earth for no reason but to die he knew it it was he came to die he knew what was going to happen to him he knew inch by inch everything that would happen to him he knew he would be rejected by the Jews 
He knew that he would be crucified. He knew that he would be mocked and jeered and ridiculed. He knew it. But he did for, for you and I. And I, I don't know, brethren, but sometimes I feel so, you know, I feel the awesome presence of God when I, when I think about how good God is, how wonderful mm. God is. I just feel, you know, I, I just feel in my heart. I just, you know, it's, it's like um, the prophet says, I feel like fire shut up in my bones. I feel something inside of me worth wanting to burst out, burst out to sing hallelujah and to glorify God. And that's why the Lord put this, this psalm on my heart. Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. O oh, he righteous. For praise is comely for the upright. If we are upright, we have every duty. We have, it's our duty. It's our, we have every reason to praise God. If we are upright, we have every reason to shout hallelujah. We have every reason to lift up his praises. We have every reason to to attend, you know, to come before the throne of grace. We have every opportunity to glorify God. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with the harp. Sing unto him with a psaltery, an instrument of ten strings. You know, the devil don't like us to worship God. He's yeah. doing everything, he's trying everything, he's coming in every corner, every direction. He's attacking the church right, left and center. He's attacking the brethren. You know, and then that's why, Pastor, we must pray for the brethren, pray for the saints. We yeah. must pray for the people of God because we are under attack by the enemy. But our God is great, our God is excellent, our God is, has the power. When he resurrected from the dead, he used his word, he said, All power, all power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Hallelujah. Jesus says it. Hallelujah. All power. So we are serving a God who is awesome, awesome, all powerful. There's yeah. nothing can stand before him. That's the God we serve. Nothing can oppose him. It doesn't matter what the devil does. It doesn't matter what he try. Once we are in Jesus, he cannot overcome us. He cannot separate us from the love of God. He cannot. It's an awesome God. So see, praise is comely for the upright. Sing unto him with the, with the, with the harp. Sing unto him with a sorcery, with an instrument of ten strings. He goes on to say, sing unto him a new song. Play, play skillfully with a loud noise. Oh, praise the Lord. It's so wonderful when we know when we're in the house of God and when we hear mm. the songs play and the music play and the harmo the harmony of the musician and the singers and the choir and everything singing together and so beautiful, honest. When we think about mm. it, and heaven is better than this. Yes. Heaven is better than this. Sing unto him a, a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of his goodness. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what people say. They don't know God. They say anything. But the Bible says the, word, the earth is full of his goodness, despite everything around us. The, the earth is full of the glory of God. The, the Bible says the, 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 the firmament declare the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament declare His hand. Ah, hallelujah. The firm, you look up into the sky. The sun is going down. You see the blue, the, the sky, sky, sun. You see the beauty of God's creation. You see the awesome sunset. It's the glory of God. The earth is full of His goodness. 
He went on to say, By the word of the Lord was the heaven made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. Oh, God is so awesome. I love the Lord. We all love the Lord. We love the Lord because he is good. He's good and his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Those that he is now redeemed everyone. But let the redeem of the Lord say those who he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Let the redeem. I'm redeemed. And I want to glorify God because I am redeemed. Praise God, I am redeemed. My 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 end my my my, my destination was a Christless eternity. That's my destiny. That was my destination. But because of the blood of Jesus, because of the sacrifice that Jesus made upon the cross for my sake, I have hope. For our sake, we have a hope of a salvation. Not only salvation, but God has made us kings and priests to him. Isn't that wonderful? The word of the Lord, by the word of the Lord, were the heavens made. And all the hosts of them by the breath of his nost of his mouth. The word of the Lord is powerful. Just by the word of the Lord, he just spoke. It he just spoke. He just spoke the word. He didn't have to do any audience, he just speak the word. That's how awesome and powerful the God is. And whatever situation, my brethren, we find ourselves in. We know if we come to the Lord and ask Him, He said, ask what you will and it shall be done. Ask what you will. Imagine the great God is saying to us, ask what you will and it shall be done. All we need to do is to trust Him and obey. Not a big price to pay. Trust Him and obey. And we can say, Lord, do this for me open this way for me and he will because he's a way maker by the word of the lord was the heaven made and the host of them by the breath of his mouth awesome what an awesome god we serve he says he gathered up the waters of the sea as a psalm 33 as a heap and he laid up in storehouses all imagine the sea imagine the ocean you have pacific ocean atlantic ocean you have the you have so many seas and oceans out there we never can tell the depth of them but by his word he gathered the waters together he gathers the waters together as a heap oh praise the name of the lord jesus he gathered them together by the words, by his word. He gathered all the waters together, all the waters of the sea as a heap. He bring them together. When the children of Israel were coming out of Egypt, they were coming out of Egypt and they stood before the Red Sea. They stood before the Red Sea and they had the mountains on both sides. And they had the Egyptians behind them. And they were in a predicament. They were in a great predicament because they couldn't go up to the mountains on either side. And they couldn't turn back because the Philistine, I mean the, the Egyptian was there waiting. And God said to Moses, stretch forth your rod. And he gathered the sea on the right and on the left and the sea stood up as a heap and the bible says they went through on dry land hallelujah oh my lord he not only dry up this he not only stand the water up in a heap but he dry up the ground they didn't have no mud or nothing to step on he dry up the sea they went through on dry land 
God don't have to do anything. Anything that God do is well done. Hallelujah. They went through and dry land, through the midst of the sea, of the Red Sea. Oh, praise God. Well, I don't know, brethren, but God, our God is awesome. Our God is awesome. Our God is awesome. He is awesome. Amen. He's awesome. I so love the psalm. Um, praise the Lord. Um, we're going to have a speaker for the, today, which is our dear brother David, a young man who loves the Lord. And I can see the Lord is using him. And um, we are praying. I'm going to ask Sister Clark. Sister Clark, you there? Yeah. Brother David is going to come and minister the word of God to us. So I'm going to ask you, please, can you give me the prayer for Brother David as he comes to Amen. us? Amen. God Amen. bless you. A wonderful Savior, Jesus, our Lord. A wonderful Savior to us. Father, we are thanking you and we are blessing you and we are glorifying you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for carrying us from the break of the day until this hour. We thank and we bless you. Thank you that you enable us to go in your house, to gather together, to praise you, to worship you, and to adore you, and to be encouraged by your word. We thank you. And here is your son coming to us now, Lord, to bring your word to us. Oh, Father, let the words of his mouth and the meditation of his heart be acceptable before you, our friend and our Redeemer. And bless us, the hearers, as we would hear your words, that it will reach the lowest part of our heart. We give ears to your words. Father, because in times like these, we need to be encouraged by your words. Father, we are living in the last days, and so help us that our mind will stay upon you. That we will, O oh God, cast our eyes upon Jesus and look fully in his wonderful face. And the thing of this world, the things of this world will go strengthen him. And as he come, let him come as an oracle of you. Sanctify him, Lord, as his mouth. Son, sanctify his mouth and his body so God give the word to your people that their soul will be blessed. Father, these mercies I ask of you, bless him, that he will be a blessing through your words to us. In Jesus' precious name, these mercies I ask of your heavenly Father and say thanks to you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Brother David, God bless you. Amen. 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 Everyone, the mighty name of Jesus. Um, God bless you, Sister, uh, Sister Clark. Thank you, Brother. Prayer and the wonderful encouragement. I just come today as a humble servant of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's always an honor and a, and a, and a glory to be in a position to speak his word with humility, knowing that he alone is worthy of all praise. Who are we to say to friends, what is man that we need to consider him? But as Sister Clark said, we are living in very serious times, and these are very serious times, and for God's people, we are told to let our lights so shine before men, mm. so they can see the good works. Mm. 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 Even those who are supposed to be clean of people, being fearful, but we know that they would be able to walk in the bad side of death, I would fear not. Mm. But in the time, he got most certainly end times. Mm. Amen. The reality is that the, the, the message of the day is good news. Amen. We can be joyful. It is good news. We were born and conceived in sin. As David said, my mother and, my mother and father conceived, conceived me in sin. We conceived in sin. But we have found grace, favor. Mercy, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we have been delivered. We now know that we have a purpose and we cannot afford for ourselves to become too attached to this world. Mm. The Bible teaches us to be in the world, 
or your husband. Amen. The wheat and the tears must grow together. But when God comes to pluck, he must be able to separate the wheat from the tears. Mm. It's not for us to, to run to a place of paradise because there is no paradise here on earth. That's right. If there was a time for years when many were confused, I'm going to go and move here where it's more peaceful. I'm going to go there. We don't go anywhere without consulting our Father in heaven. He determines where we go because we have surrendered our lives to him and for him alone we live. Amen. Hallelujah. Like a lamp, he says, the lamp to be hidden. If I go to sleep for paradise here on earth, I'm showing that I'm attached to this earth, to this world. Oh we must separate ourselves That's right. from this world, be in it, not of it. Mm. We know that we are called to shine for him. We are called to speak his word in and out of season. Trials must come. Trials came mm. for Moses. Trials came for Meshach, Shev, and Abednego. That's right. For Joseph. There is no prophet that we read about that didn't have trials. We're here for trials. God said, my faithful servant, Job, was a trial that he went through. But rather than curse God, he said, though he slay me, let's have praise him. Mm -hmm. mm. when, we, when, when we remind ourselves who we are and what we are called to do, we must stand firm, we must stand strong. Jesus says, come to me, all who I have laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart. Mm -hmm. And you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You should be reminded of that at all times. And it's amazing, you know, when you find yourself by yourself, and what I do for a living, I work as a, as a lifeguard. And being a life coach isn't really meant to be about, you know, spreading the word of God. But when Christ is in you, it has to come out. Mm. There's no way you can hide. Once Christ is in you, what's, what's inside must come out. And many times when I'm blessed enough to be given the opportunity to share my faith in my life. Amen. Situation is current climate. And they asked him, how do you cope with this situation? And I told them about Christ, I told them about my life. I said, I'm share information about my past and I was living in the and the difference between now and then. When God blesses us, it's not through material things we're not to be to Christ. In. And he tells us, he reminds us that where our heart is, that's where our treasure is also. Amen to focus on spiritual things and not walk in a carnal mind. The carnal mind still harkens after the things that we had before we came to him. Now we've come to come to Christ, our mind must be on things of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. Heaven is the goal. That's where our mind needs to be at. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So should God be the glory to be in this position to, to speak his word for all of us. God is so merciful. Yes. That he had, there is no hierarchy with him. All he's looking for is someone with humility, someone who's humble. In fact, he loves the broken. We come to him, we come to him, we just know that we are now strong. Our strength don't come from ourselves, our strength comes from the Lord. We just catch our strength to him. When we cry out to him, he hears. He hears what we have to find the other branches. In Christ says, if a branch of me is not fruitful, it's just no use. We manage to exercise discipline in our nine to five, in our jobs, but sometimes the discipline in our faithfulness, which is not significant, the monarchy, that's where the lack is found. The Bible tells us that these people honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me. So the title, on Saturday, I do a Saturday fellowship, and the title was, Sometimes We Create Our Own Hell. And so often you see it in, in the kingdom, 
where we're carrying burdens that we shouldn't be carrying. The only thing we should be carrying is the cross. Christ said, if we want to represent him, we must carry our own cross. Mm. And the cross that we carry is the commandments. Because we know they're not easy. To forgive your enemy, to love your enemy, to turn the other cheek, to remain disciplined, to take away all the things that the flesh desires. To do away with all those things requires great discipline. We fast on many occasions to have dominion over our flesh. Mm. We have dominion. The flesh, it will all of us is bound. Envy, jealousy, covetousness, immorality, lying, being puffed up in ourselves, pridefulness, all these things. We know that they come from the flesh. Yeah. And we know that our Father in heaven despises those things. The Bible tells us that he despises them. When we think about the book of life, we learn that Christ had to come. With all the great prophets that came before, Christ had to come. Because there was no perfect man. Even the great David, we read about the many flaws that he had. So we know that we have flaws. We know that we fall short in his glory. But we serve a God who is merciful. We're told that his mercy, yes. and we learn that his mercy endures for yes. us. Yes. He causes the sun to shine on the just yes. and the unjust. So when Jesus says, forgive, love your enemy. Love those who do all kinds of wickedness yes. against you. Because we belong to Jesus now, because we have surrendered our hearts to him, we have to do as he did. And he set the perfect example. Whilst on the cross, dying, mm. he turns and says, forgive them, yes. for they know not what they do. Christ Jesus came and set the example of the perfect man. Because there is no perfect man apart from him. Mm. If we call ourselves followers of Christ, we must follow what he did. It's not easy. And God is merciful. He knows that we will fall. He knows that we will make mistakes. But he judges the heart of men. It's not by our deeds that we will get to the kingdom. It's the hearts of men. Isn't it wonderful to know that we can be judged by him? When we see the way the world is right now, anyone with the media, you see the amount of times that people are judged. And the very people who are judging are guilty themselves. Mm. Probably even greater sins. Yes. When Christ rebukes the Pharisees, they will be always looking to find him guilty. The same thing will be for us as well. If we truly want to worship him in spirit and in truth, if we truly want to share his undiluted message, not a message of a heart and faith, not a message for uncomfortable to hear, but it means that you become. Jesus knew the Pharisees and say that they wanted to have the word for themselves, to put themselves in a high position where they were lauded by the masses. But looking closely was nothing but dead men's bones. Mm. And we see the same thing now. The fear of God seems to be invisible. Right. When we are taught that the beginning of wisdom is the fear of God, if only we fear God more. Can you imagine if we really spared God the way we should spare him? If we understood how precious the gift that God has given to us. Mm-hmm. If we really had our hearts and our minds on heaven. We weren't we were distracted by the things of this world. Satan is working overtime right now. And what we see all around us is fear. Yeah. Fear, fear is contaminating 
God's people. People are forgetting because their mind is going by the things that they see. What did Paul say? Faith is the things unseen right. and the yeah. things hoped for. We don't see, we don't see the God that we serve to see his face until that time. But we believe in him anyway. And we should all have a testimony. God never fell. He's a God Amen. that is merciful and faithful. That's right. And yeah. I wouldn't be on here. I wouldn't be on here speaking the way I'm speaking right now if I had not seen God's mercy, mm -hmm. God's glory, God's favor, God's miracles in my life. Like David yes. said, I would have lost heart if mm -hmm. I did not believe to see that the goodness of the Lord in the and land of the living. Today's message is a good news message. Amen. Every message Amen. returning to God's kingdom is a good news mm -hmm. message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. David set a great example. He said, Search me, Lord, and see if you find any That's right. and move it. So whenever we find ourselves praying and we're not seeing it manifests in our lives. Don't look and blame God. Mm. Look at ourselves. That's right. Search me, Lord. That's right. And see Amen. if you find Amen. any iniquity in me. Yes, Is it yes. possible to study the Word of God, to meditate on the Word of God, and forget God's instructions? Is it possible to not know the manual for your life before you read the Word of God? Is it possible to spend time in His presence and remain the same? The Bible says that if Christ be in us, we are a new creation. Behold, old things have passed away. Behold, old things have been made new. When we find ourselves drifting, we have to ask ourselves, who's first in our life? Jesus said, if you let your mother or your father move, you are not worthy of me. You know, the amount of times I've heard clients tell me that how their son is their life. My son is my life. My daughter is my life. Mm. When we become parents, we are custodians for a short while. And it's up to us to rear the child and how they should go. So they will not be part from thee. When a child is of age, a child moves on. And when God calls us to judge, it will be for every area of our lives. Mm -hmm. What kind of son was I? What kind of brother was I? What kind of friend? What kind of neighbor? What kind of father was I? What kind of friend was I? Christ set the example. He says, when I was naked, he didn't clothe me. When I was hungry, he didn't feed me. When I was thirsty, he didn't give me water to drink. It says, when we ask, when, when Jesus, when mm -hmm. Christ, did I not do that? When your neighbor knocked your door and asked you for something, for some change, something to eat, some help, and you were too busy, no, I can't. We directed them to go to somebody else. But when we do those things, Christ says, remember, when you do those things, to the least of my brethren, you do it for me. I would challenge anyone who is living like that, who is obedient to the word of God, to tell me that they've not seen the mercies, the favor, the miracles of God. Again, God is a God who never fails. Amen. Never. His mercy endures forever. Amen. Amen. His mercy is such that we are awake. Have we lost him? Have we lost him? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, can you yeah, hear you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay. There's someone that wants us to hear this message. We lost you. We rebuke him. Devil is a liar. We rebuke him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Yeah, so I, as I was saying, um, God is so merciful that once we are alive today, we must praise Him. We must give Him glory. We must mm. honor Him because we have another chance to do better than we did the day before. I was speaking to someone yesterday and I was saying, isn't it amazing, God's favor? Someone could be doing something terrible. I was speaking to a young person, treating their wife or or, or, or children in a very terrible fashion. If that person should survive their wicked deeds, they still have a chance to enter those gates if they repent of their sin mm. and come to know Christ. That's the mercies of God. So when David says, Yea, though I walk with the better shadow of death, I will fear no evil. We don't have to fear evil because he or she that would do a wicked act against you, the same God allowed their heart to beat. And it's the same God that will determine their end. We don't have to fear anybody. That's because right. When we say if God is for us, who can be against us? That's what we mean. Mm. We forget the greatness of our God. We allow ourselves to walk around like those in the, the those that don't know Him. With the same look, how? Have we forgotten? Have we not, do we not remember the goodness of our Lord? Why should we forget? Why should we forget? The wicked is busy right now, doing what the wicked is doing. And if anyone was confused before, there is no friends out here in this world. Those in positions of power are not your friends. You cannot rely on them at all. God has allowed us to see the truth. The truth has been revealed. 2020 is a term used to speak about clearer vision. And 2020 came in like a sweeping wind, like a rushing wind. And the scale should have been removed from everyone's eyes, but especially those that believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus said himself, my sheep know their master's words. Mm -hmm. Many would go around speaking in parables, he spoke for any reason in parables. Because many were looking to kill him. The Pharisees were after him. Those in positions of power that were so used to fooling the masses were very up to death. That our Lord and Savior has come. They were fearful of their position. And nothing has changed in this time. Fear has always been the weapon of choice. Satan is the ruler of this world. That's right. We're told that the world is condemned. When Satan tried to tempt Christ, what did he do? He said, if you bow down and worship, mm -hmm. all this will be yours. Mm -hmm. We see people running to fame running for fame and fortune, even though God has allowed us to see so many examples of their rise and their mighty fall. There's so much information out there right now. How can we ever say, Lord, Lord, I didn't know? But the information is all around us. And the Bible says, my people, they perish through lack of knowledge. And it's all around. What would be our excuse? God is looking down for his people to be counted now, to shine for him, to say, Jesus, Jesus is the way, he's the truth, he's the light. Mm -hmm. There is no other way to salvation but mm -hmm. him. He's looking for his people to, to work at their own salvation, to be reminded we must work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. That is the beginning of it. I'm going to read um, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 to 16. I think Paul said it all in the scripture. And I love the way he speaks. It's almost like he could have spoken this yesterday. It is so relevant for right now. The word of God really is a lamp to our feet. If we study and meditate on it. He says, however, we speak wisdom among those who are mature. Yet not, of the, not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing. 
but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew, for had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, eye has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man, except the Spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God, except the Spirit of God. Now, we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, but they are foolish, foolishness to him. Nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual judges all things, if he himself is rightly judged by no one. Who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Amen. Amen. If Christ be, if Christ be in us, we are a new creation. We can't boast in ourselves because we know that we are nothing. Without Christ, who are we? David said, what is man that you would even consider him? When I think about where God has brought me from, I could sit down and cry for the mm -hmm. whole day and say, Amen. Wow, what a mighty God. What a merciful God. What an awesome God. And I'm sure we all, we're all in agreement that when you know what you know what you know, we know that God is who he says he is. We've seen him. And when you want to share the message, we have to be reminded to be quick to listen and slow to speak. Because we live in a world where Satan is bombarding the people and they are believing it. I've seen people who I thought I knew and realized that I didn't know them very well at all. I've seen fear contaminating the masses. And I have to say this, there are much more things to come. Yeah. There are so many more things that the wicked have planned. We have to be mindful of that. But we don't focus on the flesh. God has no need for this physical body. So why are we running around in fear, thinking we need to protect it? Of course, be wise. Watch what we eat. Watch what we drink. Look after this temple. That's right. But no harm can come when we're using the wisdom of God. If it's our time, it's our time. The Bible says, Jesus Christ tells us, if the right arm offends you, chop it off. If the right eye, pluck it out. Hmm. He's telling us how unimportant this physical body is when it comes to the kingdom. It's of no relevance. We are clothed in flesh. Spirits clothed in flesh. We must walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. Focus on heaven. Focus on the kingdom. Hi, the person you're about to speak with has call captions turned on. Go on, have to focus on, that, on the kingdom. But I'm going to end the message just by just to remind everyone this is a joyful message. We have we who have given our life to Christ. Amen. We must focus on the prize, and that's the kingdom. But the passion must burn in us to win as many souls as you as we can possibly do. In, our, in all the things that we do. Being a good neighbor. Hi, good the brother, person you're son, about to speak with. A good friend. A good father. Hi, the person you're about to speak with. In all the things that we do to consider him at all times consider him at all times. Put Jesus first, put the kingdom first before everything. 
be disciplined and shine for him. Walk by faith, not by sight, because there's so many things we're going to see in these coming months. Before this year is out, we're going to see a lot of things. We learn about the dread and terrible time. We're actually living in it right now. Very true. Very true. This is this is the this is the chance for us to shine for God. He is faithful. And he will remain faithful. But we must also be faithful. To follow Christ says we must be willing to pick up our own cross. And when Jesus says that is so many different dimensions. The cross is just it could be the discipline and also the things to come. We must be willing to be used by God. Sometimes we, the trials that we face, the trials that we face are to glorify God. When we stand firm in the trial and others who don't have God in their life, see it, they are encouraged. Like I said earlier on, Satan is always looking to find us guilty. Always looking. We have to be mindful of that. Jesus said, don't it be that when the master comes, the master of the house returns, that we are found not doing what we should be doing. Mm -hmm. I will end by saying, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. I'm going to end a couple of verses this, of a song, this song I sing in the morning, and I'm up in the early morning, so I always hope my not to upset my neighbors. But I sing this song to God. I mean, we know the scripture says, this is the day the Lord has made, I shall be joyous mm -hmm. and gladly. And the song is simply says, Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, your mercies I see. All I have needed, Thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, Father, to me. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning. Your mercies I see. All I've needed, Thy hand has provided. Great is Thy faithfulness. Great is Thy faithfulness. Great is Thy faithfulness, Father, to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. All time is great. Amen. 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 God bless you, Brother D. God bless you for those lovely words of encouragement, you know, because the Bible said we must encourage each other with these words. And I'm really blessed today, you know. This is a young man who loves the Lord and be called from a very, very early age. And he's holding on to the God's unchanging arm, and I'm glad for you, brother D. Continue keeping up and continue holding on. We had some Amen. words of encouragement telling us, you know, how we should Amen. deport ourselves as children of God. The, the thing we have to understand um, quite truly, brother, is that time is short. It's shorter than we think, yeah. and, you know, we That's have right. to think and realize that things has not is not the way it used to be things has changed. We are in a new era and God is calling his children, is calling his people to come out and be counted. Amen. And it's not time for us to hide behind the shadow. It's time for us to stand up and say, say something for Jesus. Testify to someone. Encourage someone because the time is short. Jesus says the, the, the night cometh. We don't know when the night is coming, but we know the night is coming. And when we think about what is happening today, we don't know what tomorrow holds. But what we need to do as children of God, we need to anchor in Jesus. 
Amen. We need to have love. We need to show the love. We use. We need to come together. Because God wants us to be one. There should be no separation among us. We have to be of one mind, one heart. We can't be looking at each other in an adverse way. We have to have love. And that's what's going to bind us together. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together. Amen. Bind us together in love. Amen. And God wants every one of us under the sound of my voice. Every one of us. God has got something for us to do. It's time for us to realize that the coming of the Lord joy near. And I think about Jesus, what Jesus said. Jesus warned, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Son of Man cometh. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Son of Man cometh. So we have to realize, we have to realize we have to realize that we are in the end of time. Everything is going on like normal. Everything is going on just the same. And so it was in the days of Noah. People's marrying, giving in marriage. People's doing their all normal choice until the rain began to fall. And then the Bible says, God told Noah, go inside the ark. And God locked the door of the ark. We are in the last times. The warning is out there. The word of God is telling us that he's coming soon. Signs are up on the earth and ear and sky. There are signs everywhere. He's coming soon. Brethren, Jesus is coming soon. Let us continue serving God in spirit and in truth. Let us continue serving God in righteousness. Let us continue humbling ourselves before the Lord. Let us continue serving God in righteousness because the day of the Lord cometh. The Bible says, cometh as a thief in the night. The day of the Lord is cometh as a thief in the night. If, if, a thief, if you knew a thief is coming to your house, you would not go to sleep. You would stay up and you'd be watching because you want to hear when that thief has cracked the window or, or try to force the door. So it is. So he's coming as a thief in the night. Let us be ready. Let us serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. These are the, these are the last and closing days. And we're asking God to keep us. He promised he'll keep us, he'll protect us, he'll guide us. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, brother Lee, and con continue praising the Lord. I'm going to ask brother, um, brother, brother, Brother Clinton, Brother Clinton. Yes. I want you to close in prayer, but um, Daddy Foster, one of our members on this teleconference, remember his sister when you pray. Um, uh, Auntie Patsy in um, the United States is very ill, very ill, and needs our prayer. So I want you to okay. remember. Um, Sister Patsy in the United States, who is very ill, um, uh, uh, Mr. Foster, Pastor Foster, that comes on, is asking the, for prayer for her. So while you're closing prayer, please remember her, and um, also remember Sister Joyce, which is Pastor's sister also, who is very ill. And is there anyone else who has a prayer request? Why, well, before Brother Clinton, I'm closing prayer. Has anyone else got a prayer request? I just want to say thank you for offering to pray for my sister. I'm Pastor Foster. Yes, sir. God bless you. Um, I'm very thankful and much appreciated to hear that the people of God is going to pray for my sister yes. today. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. We will pray sincerely that God touch her because we know our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we may ask or think. So we are going to pray in faith. Now brethren, when we pray, we don't pray doubting. We pray knowing that if we ask God, the Bible says where two or three says anything, make, ask anything, he shall be done. It shall be done. 
So we are Amen. praying. Our brother Clinton going to lead the prayer, and we're going to pray with him that God touch our dear sister Pat Patsy and also Sister Joyce in the United States who are very, very ill. But we trust that God will hear and deliver. And we know that our God hear and answer prayer. So we will not pray with doubt at this time, but we'll pray in faith, believing that God has done the work. God bless you. Brother Clinton, you may pray. Because Auntie Patsy and um, Sister Joyce, Sister Joyce and Sister Patsy, God bless you. Remember them also. Brother Clinton, God bless you. And eternal Father, as we come this evening again with thanksgiving in our heart, is the hope where till we are that you allow us to have this service and this uh, conference, O oh God. I'm asking, dear Father, to touch each and every one this evening, O oh Father, who are listening to this program. Amen. I'm asking, dear Father, to God and protect us, dear Lord, that we may be able to do this another time. Amen. Lord, you are the creator of heaven and earth. We are your people and the sheep of your pasture. Lord, I'm asking to look into Sister Patsy's life, O oh God. Amen. I'm asking to turn right now to yes, Father Lord, touch in the Lord. Of Hallelujah. Jesus, touch our Lord. Alama Shaku, Mahilo Masaya, Alama Siko Masa, Alama Saka, Hilo Masaya. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Touch our Lord. Touch our Lord. Thank you. Lord, we know the devil is a liar. Yes, Lord, we know he's a liar. Oh God. Amen. But when we are praying, O oh Father, and your, these prayers will be going up, Father, yes. and we know, dear Lord, that you are the one who conducted their Father. Touch, Lord we Jesus. Thank you, we pray to you, and we give you all the honor. Father, as for, as for my friend Katie, O oh God, I'm asking you to touch her this evening, mm -hmm. dear Father, because we have this major um, operation on Wednesday night. Lord, I'm asking you, God, I'm asking you, my God, God, my God, hallelujah, hallelujah, Father, and let the devil take his hand yes, off, Lord, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, I don't have a towards each and every unsafe person who is out there, oh God, and believe that there is a God, Jesus is the way, the life and the truth, oh God, Amen. and we know the so what can do him. He, 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 he is the head, oh Father, for our salvation. And Father, He is our Father. He is everything to us, dear Lord. So we pray this evening for guidance and protection. Yes, Lord. And for Mr. Thompson and his wife, dear Lord, I pray tonight that you guide them, you protect them, oh Father. Let yes, they continue in this business, dear Father. May because God. they are worthy to be prayed for. Lord, Hallelujah. Our, 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 Thank you, Jesus. Our dear pastor, sister who is in America, dear Lord. Yes. I'm asking you to touch you right now. Sister also, Joyce, dear Father. Sister Jesus, Joyce. Lord, you know everything about My her. God, touch her, Lord. Lord. I'm asking you to protect her. I'm asking you to look into her life right now. Mm -hmm. oh, God, mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take his hands off our dear Father. Yes. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Yes. I thank you right now. I praise you and I give you to Hannah. As you are about to close, oh God, marching you, dear Father, to look into each and every one of us' lives and make us know. Just in my grace. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. God bless you, Brother Clinton. God bless you. Let us let us believe that when we pray that God will hear and God will answer. Because our God hear our cry and He promised He will answer our prayer. So we believe and we will not doubt. Hallelujah. That the Lord has heard our prayer and it is done. It is done. God bless you all. May God bless and keep you. Cause His face to shine upon you all in Jesus name amen amen and now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the love of God the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
comforter. Rest, remain and abide with us all for now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless you to you all, my brethren. God bless you. God bless you. Have a great week. Have a great week. God bless you. God bless you.